Bent over dumbbell row. So a lot of times when I see people that are doing these bent over rows, they say that it hurts their back, all these things. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that have worked for me, okay? So I treat this as a hinge pattern. And as we know, a hinge pattern is a hip dominant pattern. Um, even though we're not doing a lower body exercise right now, holding this isometric in the right position will incorporate some glute and hamstring work, okay? So before we start, Let's make sure that we're hinging properly. So the hinge, I always say, push the hips back. Keep the shins relatively straight, just like so. Pretend you have a handful of groceries and you need to close the car door, right? So you would just like that, just to close the car door. Another cue that you would like to use is if you just went for a run and you're super tired and you were to put your hands on your knees like this, this is automatically putting you in a hinge position. As you can see, my back is relatively flat, my hips are pushed back, my shins are about 90 degrees, okay? So if you wanna do a bent over dumbbell row, this is how I would start, all right? So go ahead and pick up your dumbbells. We're gonna start in this position. We're gonna push the hips back, keeping those shins about 90 degrees, and row, just like so. Squeezing at the top, holding for a second. Now what we want to make sure to do is to really squeeze our glutes, okay, so that we're engaging the glutes. You're also going to feel it in your hamstrings and probably in your quads if you're doing it correctly. Keeping those dumbbells close to the center of gravity here is going to take that pressure off your spine as if it was out here. It would probably hurt a little bit more. So try out the dumbbell row, standing bent over dumbbell row with those cues and I hope it works for you.